Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and wondered about the mysteries that lie beyond our world? Well, you're not alone. In today's cosmic adventure, we'll unlock the secrets of the universe and venture where few have gone before. But before we embark on this exhilarating journey, don't forget to like this video to show your cosmic curiosity and subscribe to our channel for regular doses of space exploration. Ready for the cosmic ride? Let's begin. Throughout history, humans have observed the celestial wonders in the night sky, documenting the luminous objects that twinkle and glide above us. The earliest depictions of stars and planets graced the walls of caves, serving as both calendars and guides marked by intricate astronomical symbols. As time progressed, written records and books took the reins as the primary sources of knowledge, offering insights into the way people of those eras perceived the cosmos. Technological advancements and a deepening understanding of the universe unveiled more of our solar system's hidden treasures. From the discovery of moons around Jupiter and Saturn, to the revelation of ice giants and frozen dwarf worlds, yet some mysteries remained unsolved. In the 1800s, the hypothetical planet Vulcan, once considered the closest to the Sun, even more so than Mercury, turned out to be a product of optical illusions and sunspots rather than a tangible celestial body. In the 1980s, the idea of a dark world named Nemesis was conceived to explain periodic mass extinctions on Earth, but no concrete evidence of such an object was ever found. Even in more recent times, the quest for the elusive Planet Nine, believed to lurk somewhere beyond Neptune, remains ongoing. As of August 2023, this celestial enigma continues to elude discovery, underscoring our perpetual pursuit of hidden giants within our solar system. One of the most intriguing examples of this cosmic exploration is the hypothetical planet Phaeton, once thought to exist between Mars and Jupiter as the Sun's true fifth planet. What spurred scientists to embark on this search? What fueled their belief in its existence? And what did they ultimately find instead? In 1781, when William Herschel first beheld Uranus, it ignited a newfound curiosity within the realm of our solar system. This was a pivotal moment, for Uranus became the initial planet discovered in millennia. Consequently, astronomers of that era cast their eyes to the heavens with a fervent desire to become the next celestial pioneer, yearning to unveil a planet of their own. Yet the quest for a new planet resembled searching for a needle in an astral haystack. The vastness of our solar system sprawled across an immense expanse. However, a mathematical technique emerged at the time, known as Titius Bode's Law which seemed to offer a method for narrowing down the search. This formula posited that each planet when arranged outward from the Sun should be roughly twice as distant from the Sun as the one preceding it. Remarkably, it offered an approximation for the distances of the known planets, even Uranus. Nevertheless, Titius Bode's law unveiled a conspicuous gap. A missing planet predicted to reside around 2.8 astronomical units from the Sun, positioned between Mars and Jupiter. Armed with this intriguing observation, many astronomers embarked on a quest to locate this anticipated celestial body. On January 1, 1801, astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi chanced upon an unfamiliar luminous speck, meandering gradually among the starry firmament. Initially believed to be a comet, he bestowed it with the name Ceres in honor of the Roman goddess of agriculture, positioned at precisely 2.8 astronomical units from the Sun. Ceres appeared to adhere remarkably to Tidius Bode's law, though Ceres paled in luminosity compared to its planetary peers, signalling its diminutive size. It was embraced by many as the long-sought fifth planet from the Sun. At last, the enigmatic gap in the Titius Bode sequence seemed to be resolved, and Ceres was endowed with a planetary symbol, instilling a semblance of order within the inner solar system. However, this elation was fleeting, for in 1802, just a year later, an additional object named Pallas was spied, followed by Juno in 1804 and Vesta in 1807. These newfound objects inhabited similar orbital neighborhoods with Ceres, igniting suspicions among astronomers. It was postulated that these entities comprised a novel class of celestial bodies. As time progressed, a consensus emerged among astronomers that the celestial realm was partitioned between the major planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, 
Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and these peculiar objects. Gradually, these celestial wanderers were reclassified as asteroids and their dwelling zone was christened the Asteroid Belt. In the year 1846, the discovery of Neptune defied the Titius Bode law. As Neptune's orbit deviated by eight astronomical units from the predicted placement, this discrepancy led to the realization that the Titius Bode law was likely a cosmic quirk, inapplicable to the outer reaches of our solar system. By the 1860s, astronomers widely accepted this fundamental distinction between the major planets and the denizens of the asteroid belt. And thus the asteroid belt came into being, distinguishing itself from the realms of the traditional planets. Within a mere year of unearthing the elusive missing planet, it dawned upon astronomers that the asteroid belt harbored no major celestial body. Instead, it was a realm populated by countless scattered rocks. The pursuit of a hidden planet had been in vain, as the asteroid belt concealed not a single major planet, but rather a multitude of fragments. This revelation begged the question, from whence did these rocky constituents originate? In 1823, the renowned astronomer Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers, who had earlier discovered the asteroid palace, proposed a bold theory. He posited that these objects were remnants of a shattered planet, birthing the enigmatic Phaeton hypothesis. The name Phaeton, derived from a mythical Greek figure meaning shining one, encapsulated the spirit of this conjecture. In Greek mythology, Phaeton was the offspring of Helios, the sun god, who steered his fiery chariot across the heavens each day. Phaeton's ill-fated attempt to command the chariot resulted in calamity. He lost control of the horses, leading the chariot to scorch the earth and then veer too far, causing it to freeze. In response to the ensuing chaos and celestial outcry, Zeus dispatched a thunderbolt, annihilating Phaeton, an apt moniker for a vanquished planet. The Phaeton planet hypothesis proposed that the asteroid belt had arisen from the obliteration of a planet situated between Mars and Jupiter, an event termed the disruption theory. This cataclysmic event could have been triggered by several possibilities. Either the planet had ventured too close to Jupiter, torn asunder by its gravitational forces, or it collided with another substantial celestial body. Also, they succumbed to the destructive forces of a hypothetical brown dwarf companion star known as Nemesis, or it was internally ruptured. Nonetheless, this compelling notion of a fragmented planet, while captivating, remains improbable. Observations of the asteroid belt have disclosed that its collective mass amounts to a mere 4% of the Moon's mass. This paltry quantity hardly suffices to have once coalesced into a full-fledged planet. It is now firmly established that the asteroids are vestiges of the solar system's primordial days, remnants from the protoplanetary disk of gas and dust encircling the Sun, known as the accretion disk. This material played a pivotal role in forming the planets, moons, asteroids and comets that populate our solar system today. The asteroid belt, therefore, is not merely a congregation of drifting rocks encircling the Sun. It represents a time capsule from our solar system's inception. Preserving the embryonic stage when celestial constituents fused to create nascent planets that were destined never to fully develop. Hypothetically, had Phaeton come into existence, it would have orbited the Sun between Mars and Jupiter, ranking as the solar system's smallest major planet, dwarfing even Pluto. Its characteristics would likely have been austere, a barren world devoid of a substantial atmosphere, or a magnetic shield to safeguard its rocky surface from solar radiation. However, akin to other modest celestial bodies across our solar domain, such as Ceres. It might have harbored the potential for subsurface liquid water, fostering conditions conducive to life. Imaginably, numerous spacecraft would have embarked on missions to explore its enigmatic surface, possibly even landing on it. Despite the fervent hopes of astronomers from the 19th and 20th centuries, the Phantom of Phaeton has been unequivocally dispelled through the study of the asteroid belt. Nevertheless, it endures as a captivating tale, an astronomical phantom that kindled the imaginations of scientists and science fiction authors alike. A planet discovered, lost, and ultimately, forgotten. We hope you enjoyed this cosmic adventure as much as we did. Don't forget to like this video if you found it intriguing and subscribe to our channel for more incredible content about the mysteries of the universe. If you want to stay up to date with the latest space news and discoveries, Click that notification bell as well. And of course, sharing is caring. 
So please share this video with your friends and family who share your fascination with the cosmos. Thank you for joining us today. And until next time, keep looking up at the stars. Safe travels through the cosmos.